Welcome to Find Pigtails, and today we want to discuss L64A2, but specifically how to remove the pins from this connector. This is a two pin connector, and it's one of our top selling connectors we have in our inventory. By visiting this page, you'll be able to see the complete details of the fitments and functions of this connector. So in this case, again, it's two terminals. It's going to be used for AC compressor, daytime running lamp, ambient temp, fog lamp. It's a very extensive, but not an exhaustive list of what this connector can be used for. What we want to do is show you today exactly how to remove the pins, D-pin, repin method, on this connector. Once you remove this from the connector, it's going to give you access to be able to actually remove the terminals and pins or pull the wires out from behind the connector itself. As you can see, in order to remove this connector's front face, you'll have to have a very specialized tool, a small mini screwdriver or a very small D-pin repin tool. And what you want to do is gently pry up on that front face to cleanly and gently remove the pins. And once you do, you'll be able to have a direct access to where those little, those little catches, the releasing locks are exposed. Once you have access to those catches, you use the screwdriver and gently pry away at the same time as grabbing the wires on the back end of the connector and gently pulling out. So you pull out or pull on the wires as you release the catch. If you do it too rough, it might break. All right, so today what we're gonna do is a, a deep pin repin of one of our most popular connectors. This is part number L64A2. This is actually a, a very common one used on like Dodge Chargers, things like that, a lot of Mopar vehicles. Um, it's side marker going to be a uh, fog lamp DRL for Mercedes, different cars, and uh, we'll show you how to remove the wires and uh, reinstall them. So the first thing, whenever you have something that's a different color than the main body of the connector, it's usually a secondary lock. So this little pink piece here is actually a secondary lock. What we're going to want to do is remove it, pull it to the side, and so we can do that with a screwdriver. We'll just take our screwdriver and get right in between those two pieces, pull that out, you don't have to take it all the way out, it actually kind of has a spot where it'll stop. And um, from there, once you've got that pulled back, you can see here inside the connector, the pin actually itself has got the catch built into it. So all we have to do on these, they're very easy, is push it down and then pull your wire out. All right, so let's talk about L64A2. If you hit this magnifying glass right here, it'll give you a very detailed close-up look to where you can get the full definition and look of the connector. I hit this button, this X button at the top right hand side, it will collapse it. Now the other thing, I can scroll over each of these images and I can get a clearer look at the front, the back, and the side. One of the cool features we added on our site not too long ago was related connectors. That way you'll be able to see the male and female part of the connector. If this connector just so happens to plug into a different connector, it will list it underneath related connectors and it will say connects to F23C2. Let's take a look at F23C2. I can actually click it from that page itself and it'll take me directly to that connector and you can see what it exactly it connects to. Now again, it's going to be vice versa as well. So if I come in here and hit related connectors on this one, guess what? It's going to take me to, I hit that button and it will take me back l 64 And this one, so we're going to go ahead and reinstall them. Pretty simple. The spring-loaded catch that's built into the pin, just make sure that's oriented correctly. So we've got our opening here on the connector. So have both facing up. Slide it in through the back. And you, it'll click. You might not be able to hear that on camera, but uh, once you hear that click, you know it's locked in position. Second one, we'll slide that down in there. Once it clicks and locks in place, you can kind of pull the wire, make sure it won't go. Then I push them forward all the way, push that secondary lock down, and then you're good to go. It's ready to go. 